T-minus nine minutes and counting. And we're at T-minus nine minutes and counting, and the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. NASA Test Director John Guidi is about to call for the transmittal of stored pre-launch commands as Atlantis is less than nine minutes away from launch on a mission to the Mir space station to retrieve astronaut Jerry Leninger, who has been in space now for the past four months. T minus eight minutes and counting, and pilot Eileen Collins is now flipping switches in the cockpit to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses. Flight reports that the three fuel cells are continuing to look good. DLS is go for OAA retract. And the orbiter access arm is now being retracted away from the vehicle. This is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the orbiter. And it can be returned to position within seconds if need be. T minus seven minutes and counting. Test conductor Mike Key has given pilot Eileen Collins the go ahead to perform the auxiliary power unit pre start procedures. T minus six minutes and counting. ATC, PLT, three great topics. Eileen Collins has reported that the pre-start of the APUs is complete. APU activation will come up in just a few seconds. T minus five minutes and counting. And we have a go for APU start. APU activation is in work. CDR reconfigure heaters. CDR heater reconfigure is in work. The solid rocket booster and external tank safe and arm devices are being armed. And the main fuel valve heaters on the three shuttle main engines have been turned on. Next, we'll see a final test of the flight control services. 
T minus four minutes and counting. Yeah, let's just go for a third sequence four. And control surface checks are now being conducted. Next, the three main engines will be gimbaled as a final test before launch. We're at T minus three minutes and counting, and all is continuing to go well for today's launch. This mission carries a multinational crew of seven who will spend the next nine days in space, five of those days docked with the Mir space station. And final pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank located inside the external tank is now underway. OTC, clear caution and warning memory, and verify no unexpected errors. And the gaseous oxygen vent hood is being slowly retracted away from the top of the external tank. Everything looks good, and we're cleared for launch today. No problems are being reported from the vehicle or the crew. T minus two minutes and counting. And Atlantis uh, copies to the whole NASA team and to our partners around the world. Spasiba, Balsera, Uvidem Suskola, Postly, Espresso, and Paliota. Merci pour tout ce que vous avez fait pour le succès de notre world. And thanks for making Atlantis such a beautiful bird. We're ready to take it over and be with our friends on there. One minute, 30 seconds. All systems are go. Well, Space Shuttle Atlantis is 90 seconds from beginning its nine-day mission to dock with the Mir space station. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is being reported at proper flight pressures. T minus one minute one and counting. Minute. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time, and everything is still looking good for launch of the shuttle Atlantis from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time, and Atlantis is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. T minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, one, we have booster ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Atlantis, maintaining America's constant presence in space. As it breaks through the sound barrier. Fifty-three seconds into the flight, the main engine's now beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104 percent of rated performance. The engines, along with the three fuel cells and three auxiliary power units, all functioning normally. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Precourt on the flight deck of Atlantis. Joined by pilot Eileen Collins, flight engineer Carlos Noriega, and mission specialist Jean-Francois Clairvoy, 
Down on the mid-deck, mission specialist Ed Liu, Elena Kondakova, and Mike Full beginning four months in space. One minute, 40 seconds into the flight, Atlantis traveling at 2,300 miles per hour, already 17 miles downrange from the launch site, 20 miles in altitude. 15 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. That will be commanded by the general purpose computers through the master events controller on board. Booster officer confirms a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance is converging on all three main engines, now gently steering Atlantis for a precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. Atlantis, performance is nominal. Atlantis now 3,100 miles in speed, 48 miles downrange, 39 miles in altitude. In this view, uh, once again, uh, from the center line camera with the docking target uh, clearly in view, Atlantis 30 feet uh, from the Mir space station. Hey, 